this fishing boat is heading out to sea to try its luck at catching fish and other seafood. Fishing has been a big part of life in Taiwan for centuries, and it's still a very important part of the culture here. But nowadays, most people live in big cities and work in offices or shops. But many of them still enjoy the thrill of the chase. So what do they do about it? They come to places like this, and there are hundreds of them all over Taiwan. Here, fishing has moved indoors. As you can see, there are several large pools, and in them, the owners of this place have tossed an untold number of shrimp. People pay by the hour to try to catch them, and if they're able to, they can cook and eat the shrimp right here. It's a Saturday afternoon, and here you have families with small children trying to catch their lunch. And over here, we have a couple out on a date. There are also several groups of friends who are here to relax, chit chat, and enjoy fresh shrimp. It costs about ten dollars an hour or less, and it's the same price no matter how many shrimp you catch. The businesses give you the rod and the bait, which consists of chicken liver and tiny dried shrimp. Now I'm new at this. So I'm going to ask a regular customer who comes here two to three times a week to show me how it's done. Mr. Mr. Li Changfeng says the trick is to only put a small piece of bait on the hook so that it will fit inside the shrimp's mouth. Professionals like him prefer to bring their own rod and bait, and he says it's also really important to stay focused because then you'll know when the shrimp is taking a bite off your bait. Hmm, it's a bit tricky putting this tiny piece of slimy chicken liver onto the hook. But off we go. Mr. Lee later tells me the dried baby shrimp is a better bait and helps me put one on the hook. <laughs> My first shrimp, and it took only 10 minutes. But the credit goes to Mr. Lee because he helped me put on the bait. Wow! <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. It can take beginners up to an hour to catch their first shrimp, if any. We come here because the kids like it. I think shrimp fishing can train them to be patient because they have to sit here and wait for the rod to move before they can catch the shrimp. It's cheaper to do it this way. If you were to rent a boat to go fishing, then it's expensive and risky. Have some fun, drink some beer, be with my wife or friends, and we laugh. And, and the, the the wives scream because of the shrimp are moving. <laughs> For many people, there's nothing like the joy of catching their own meal, cleaning and salting it, putting it on skewers, and then waiting for it to cook as they smell the sweet aroma. Then they get to savor the rewards of their patience and hard work. This pastime activity is so popular that places like this one are open 24 hours a day and can get as many as 100 customers at a time. But for people like me and my cameraman who have been here for four hours and have caught only one shrimp, there's no need to feel discouraged. Places like this one also offer a full menu of shrimp and other dishes, none of which have to be caught by the customers.